fellow Nigerians, my name is Alaji Lias Onecho John. I'm a law-abiding citizen of Nigeria. I am a broker as journalist and I am a Muslim. I'm online today to talk about the trading issue in Nigeria in the past few days, about the mother of a fellow Nigerian, Deborah, a student of credit education in Sokoto. We have been silent on this matter in the past few days because we want to do our finding on three things. One, why was she killed? Two, who are those that killed her? Three, what is the position of the law on this killing? When I say the law here, I mean either the Sharia law or the Nigerian constitutional law, which, people, which sometimes people refer to as the secular law. Whichever way, according to Sharia or according to the Nigerian constitutional law, what is the position of the law? One, those that killed her, according to our finding, killed her because they said she committed a blasphemous offense. In a voice note that is in circulation, where she was said to have spoken negatively against the Prophet of Islam, and they said is punishable by death because it is blasphemous. That is the reason why she was said to have been killed. Secondly, who are those that killed her? From our finding, she was killed by her fellow students and other Nigerians that were available within the environment where she was murdered. Students, Nigerians, and ordinary people like her. Thirdly, what is the position of the law? The Nigerian constitutional law did not permit anybody, either individual or group, to kill anybody outside the law. Extrajudicial killing. Same thing, the Sharia law did not permit extrajudicial killing. Let me state here categorically clear that Islam is not just a religion. Islam is a complete system that covers every aspect of human life from your mental behavior, from your spiritual behavior, and to your physical behavior. No aspect of human life is left uncovered in Islam. Islam as a system have laid down rule, procedure, and processes for every human action. According to Islam, if an offense is committed, the person that committed the offense should be summoned before the law, tried according to the law, and be punished according to the law. On a matter of murder, Islam is so specific and concerned about human life that it condemn, frown, and forbidding any individual from taking another in person's life without the pronouncement of the law. Outside the law, no individual in Islam is allowed to take the life of another person. In fact, Islam is so concerned about life that it forbids you from taking your own life. Therefore, we are saying that this girl who was killed was not tried according to any of the law. And according to Nigerian law, an accused remains innocent until proven guilty beyond any reasonable doubt. This girl has not been proven guilty by any law, either Sharia or Nigerian law. Therefore, her killing is outside the judicial processes. And as such, it is an extrajudicial killing. We are saying here that the extrajudicial killing of this girl is unacceptable, is un-Islamic, is barbaric, and is condemnable. On this note, we are saying that those involved in this barbaric act, in this un-Islamic act, have given Islam a bad name, have given Muslim a bad name, and as such, they should be investigated, arrested, tried, and punished according to the law. If you are a Muslim, note here that the image those people are giving of Islam is a negative image. Islam is not as barbaric as those people are making Islam look before the world. Islam is an organized system. We have a body of law that recommend and guide every of our actions. Here, yeah. this is the time we need the voices of our leaders. Where are the Muslim leaders of Nigeria? The Sultan of Sokoto, Sheda Rubaushi, Sheikh Gumi, we need to hear from you. Let us know your position on this matter. Tell the world that Muslims are not murderers. Tell the world 
that Muslims are organized people. Tell the world that Islam have rules, regulations and processes for everything we do. Tell the world that we don't allow extrajudicial killing. Your silence on this matter is not golden. We shouldn't hear from you only when we have this put on when to start fasting and when to stop fasting. This is a time of emergency. The reason why the Muslim leader need to talk at this point in time is for others to learn from this. If you keep quiet on this matter, the other Muslims in Nigeria will think that what has happened in Sokoto is the right thing. And any time another person is said to have committed such similar offense, Muslims will take the law into their hand. But if you speak and you make your position known, if another time God forbidding there is such a matter, it will be referred to that when such and such happened, this was the position of the Muslim leaders in Nigeria. It will be a reference point. But if you keep quiet, Muslims will think what those people in Sokoto have done. It happened right in Sokoto, in front of the Sultan of Sokoto. It's three days plus now. Speak out. Let us know your position. Let us know the position of Islam. Let us know the position of Sharia. And let us know the position of the conventional law in Nigeria. We must condemn this. If you don't condemn this, if you don't say anything about it, the non-Muslim will be forced to conclude that every Muslim is a terrorist. What those people have done is terrorism. And you need to condemn terrorism because Islam condemns terrorism. This is our position. What has happened to Deborah in Sokoto did not go through the legal processes. And as such, is extrajudicial killing and is condemnable. If you are a Muslim or a non-Muslim and you think our position is not right, tell us the reason why this girl should not be tried. Why should she be killed outside the provision of the law? Arrest my case at this point and I wait for your response. Let us know your own position. Why should she be killed? Islam is not as barbaric as those people are making it look. We are organized set of people. We have body, we have a, we are organized set of people, we have rules, we have laws, and we have procedures to improve our actions. Thank you.